this guitar has a Jesus House connection to it. I'll just briefly share the story. Terry Fisher knew a guy up in Franklin, Ohio, he grew up with, and it was Gary Calvert who had a group called Gary and the Hornets. So hooray for Hazel, sha la la, you know, what was a hooray for Hazel, kind of a hush. Yeah, he actually had kind of a hush six months before Herman's Herman's out. And old man Rickenbacker that made these guitars out in California gave this to Gary. This was never purchased in a music store, never been in a music store. Gary had it for a number of years and kind of got out of the pop thing and went more into rock and roll. He was, um, at the time I met him, he had hair down to his belt line and was playing Dwayne Allman licks with a slide guitar and uh, just really tearing it up. The Rickenbacker had no strings on it. The neck was, the fretboard was pushing away from the neck a little bit. Sent it out to Rickenbacker. They wanted like 300 bucks to put a new neck on it, so forget that. So I gave it to a guy in Cincinnati. Restored it and been playing it ever since. I've uh, been told that this guitar has been on Shindig. The Johnny Carson show, uh, where the action is. I've never been there, but the guitar's there. And the Jesus House stage. Oh, yeah. I was watching a boring TV show one night, and I wrote this song in 15 minutes. Thank you. 